Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. You may remember my review of the collaboration between Mavi Tissot and AMWG. Well, Vincent from AMWG has been kind enough to send me a couple more watches in for me to review on the channel and introduce to you guys. He's very much interested in showing off his pieces to you guys and I can see why because he's obviously very proud of his work. Now, he sent me three watches. I've got two of them to do my first impressions with today and another one to do on a later date. So you may have noticed that there's a paper promotion sign. Let me explain that quickly. So two of the watches that he sent me, he sent me for free. So usual type of, you know, agreement, uh, no cash exchanged. I just get to keep the watches after I've reviewed them. They're obviously full honest review as always, but I have actually paid for one of these watches and it's the more expensive one of the bunch now all three watches are available to buy right now and i have linked them all in the description so if you're interested in any of them go and check them out if you'd like to wait for the review that's also fine also it'd be a great help if you would consider subscribing to the channel that way you're going to be notified for the next reviews that i post i post three a week and some people would say that's quite good let me turn this camera around and let's get into this first impressions video. So this is the box that I have received from Hoosen Timepieces. Uh, that, that's quite confusing. Hoosen and AMWG are run by the same person. Uh, they both make amazing watches. I'll link both websites in the description. But I'm going to move this one out of the way for a second. And let's talk about this UN Timepieces Rally. Now, obviously a race style watch. It's a Myota quartz movement in the back of this one and as you can see the depth on this dial is ridiculous the the factors to this dial is ridiculous also so let's get this unwrapped and let's have a little first impression gander at it really nice domed crystal i think that may be a uh, a mineral crystal don't think it's sapphire we will find out for the review however let's Unpeel this. So we have a strap on this one with the Hoosen logo. Now I'm just going to peel off the rest of these stickers. So there we have it, the UN Timepieces Rally. Now one thing that Vincent and his companies do very well is they produce limited edition runs. As you may be aware or may not be aware, they actually sold out the Rolex homage that I reviewed. Uh, they've now moved on to a different dial with an aged loom type of effect. So that one's available. However, the Mavi Tissot that I reviewed has been, has run out and they've moved on to a different design. So yeah, this one, as you can see on the back, powered by Hoosen timepieces, uh, limited edition, 29 out of 50. Which is really nice, isn't it? So we do have a press clasp. However, we do have to remember this is one of their more budget options. It is more about the design of the watch itself. The finishing is actually really nice. As you can see, the nailing on the bezel. This is a fixed bezel. Uh, you can see the second hand ticking away there. I like the date at the bottom, the uh, free number display. And that is the orange chronograph hand there. Now I'm looking forward to this bracelet because it actually feels really, really nice. Like it's going to be a nice feel on wrist. Let me size this up. Let's see how we are looking. So here's the Hoosen Valley on wrist. It's quite nice actually. Really, the bracelet is probably my favourite part about this watch. It's it's really comfortable. Articulates very well. It conforms very well because it is a three piece bracelet instead of just a moulded piece. You understand what I mean? Female end links. Yeah, the feel of it's really nice. I, I do really like this. I think I'd pay $249 for this. I think I'd be happy with it too. I love the golf colours on it. Really does give that race type of feel to it. You can tell that it's a race chronograph too. 24 up at the 12 o'clock. I'm happy with this one. Now let's talk about the main feature of this uh, video. And it is this Hoosen timepieces. Well, it's inside this Hoosen timepieces box. So let's slide this out. As you can see, nice inner sleeve. And here it is. 
This is the AMWG 2020. Now, AMWG, as well as being an online store, is also a Facebook group. And this is the their watch for 2020. It is a Zenith El Primero homage. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It is packed with a ST19 movement, which I rarely do get on with. A mechanical chronograph is definitely for me, depending on when I put this video out, if it's before or after a certain other video. You can tell that mechanical chronographs are my type of jam and I have some very nice ones. So let me get this unwrapped. There we go. Now, I think this is another oh, one on the, the dial here. I think this is another limited run. As I say, packed with a Seagull ST19 movement. You can see it taken away there. I love the, the miss-sized uh, sub-dials on this one. I also love that grey type of dial that they've got in this. Grey, almost gold type of dial. It's, it's a very strange colour to try and explain, but it's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, we have AMWG. 2020 and mechanical limited edition down at six o'clock such a nice watch i can't wait to get this sized up for wrist also a very very different type of bracelet on this one very premium type of bracelet too i love the angles that it fits into it let's get this sized so i had to take out two from one side and three from the other but here is the zenith homage on wrist i've been looking forward to getting this one because it's just it's just a substantial watch. It's huge. I really love the design, the miss-sized sub-dials, the, the uh, sandwich dial. I just, yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Vincent's always picks on me for having smaller wrists, and I'm sure he will after this. However, I just think he's he's uh, jealous of my Scouse accent, as well as that he's a Norwich supporter, so I imagine he doesn't have a very nice time when the football's on. Gonna be entertaining and watching them go back down next year. See the blue AR coating on this too. Really nice. Really, I, I'm in love with this watch to be honest. I will be back with the review very soon. However, these are limited edition, so if you wanted to get one, I would be quick about it. Last time, me and Vincent worked together. His watch sold out, so hopefully we have the same effect on this one. I do also have another one that Vincent has uh, sent in to me for review, but I've kind of left that in work, unfortunately. As well as that, I also have some coming over from James at Honest Watch Reviews. He, uh, he got a parcel of them. We are splitting them or collaborating on those reviews. Uh, he's got two out already, the Red Moon Speedmaster Homage and the Houston Diver, if you want to Check them out there live on his channel right now. Such a nice watch. Such a nice watch. What a watch this is. I am very, very impressed by what Vincent has come up with once again. I would really, really advise you to go and join the AMWG Facebook group and have a little check out of the watches that are posted on there. Also check out the Instagram page as well. Lots of watches to be consumed on there. They make some fantastic homages, but they always put their own little twist on them, and I really love that in the market. I think that that's a brilliant asset. Now, all of the AMWG watches and the Houston watches are limited run watches. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of value to a limited run of watches. Some people do appreciate that, but it also means that once these are gone, they're gone. So if you're interested in any of them, please do go pick them up and enjoy them because they are very, very enjoyable pieces. I'm going to enjoy this for years and years to come. It's absolutely gorgeous. That dial colour is absolutely gorgeous. He's outdone himself once again. He's outdone himself. All the links are in the description, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Go get your headphones. Just now that I am not happy about this. The film now, I'm gonna put it in. No, you don't. I am. Look, gonna put it in.
That was all going to know that you pick on me. <laughs> oh, 3,800. <laughs>